Hey everybody, this is Mrs. May Cuso, and I just want to welcome you to AP Bio. This is a quick little video just to introduce myself and let you know what the course is all about. So students, parents, I'm glad you're here. So first thing, I'm Nancy May Cuso. The kids call me Merm. It means like I'm their other mother. It has been a name for over 10 years that the kids have called me, so that's what Merm means. Um, I am a Spencerport mom. I'm a Spencerport teacher. There's my family, my husband Peter, and my three kids that all went to Spencer Port, they're all graduates. Um, okay, so the course AP Bio. Um, the idea is you want to have a great foundation. You want to learn as much biology as you can while you're here in high school and figure out like, is this something I'm interested in? Is this something I want to do in college and beyond and for a career? So I want to make sure that I'm prepping you really well for all of that. Um, and of course, I want you to do well on that AP Bio exam. All right, what are you going to learn? So there's lots of content that you learn in here. We learn a lot um, about processes, so like the process of photosynthesis, the process of respiration, how cells communicate with each other, all sorts of really interesting um, new genetic implications of how cells communicate. So there, there's a lot of really cool stuff that we learn. Um, how to take notes. A lot of kids um, are a little bit anxious, maybe if they know they're heading to college and they're like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hack like biology, biochemistry in college. Um, this is a great preparation for you. So taking notes, learning how to research on your own and um, get it all written down for yourself so that you have something to study from and learn how to study. Experiments are a big part of the course. So like learning how to design experiments, how to statistically evaluate an experiment. Um, we have a lot of labs in the course, but then also a lot of opportunities for kids to design their own and sort of look at what experiments are valid or not valid and see if they mathematically make sense or not. Um, I like to definitely push the kids to make sure that they are responsible for their own learning. I have a lot of schedules. Schoology is amazing for that. Um, so figuring out how to schedule and work everything. Flipped Classroom means that you watch my videos. So the content videos, you're going to watch videos of me nobody else but me. You can watch others, but the ones that I assign you are videos of me teaching the content. So you watch those at home, and then you come in with your notes already, and then we do something with it. So we use the time that we have together. Um, we maximize that time by doing experiments, by going over what we're learning, maybe drawing. Um, I have tons of these whiteboards in my classroom. So like drawing out the process um, and, and really making sure we understand the biology. Schoology. All right, so you have to have your laptop all the time. And Schoology, um, I organize it like you see here. So you'll see AP Bio and you'll see a folder that has resources you need all year and our syllabus and the safety contract. And then you'll see a week at a time. And each week starts with a week at a glance. So for that week, you know everything that you'll be doing during class and outside of class. So you can get ahead on your work. All right, so again, Schoology has the week at a glance. So you can get ahead. Cornell notes I'm gonna talk about next. I want those done within 24 hours. You can always get ahead, manage your time well. And then the grades, um, instead of college where it's really 100% tests for a science course, it's gonna be 80% tests and then 20% your other work that you're turning in. All right, Cornell notes. So what I do is I have you take your notebook and you make a line. So you can see here on these two students' work, you can see their lines here and here down the page. So make a line on the left. When you're watching the video, all of your notes from the video go to the right. And then within 24 hours, research the information, add more explanations, experiments that have been done with this, diagrams, anything that's gonna help you understand it better to the left side. Don't reiterate what I said in the video because I made the video so I know what's in there. I want new stuff, new explanations, new experiments, things like that on the right side. Um, the rate of forgetfulness goes way down once you do Cornell notes. So by seeing the information again and again and again, it really helps you remember things much better. I've had students who in college, they're business majors or um, social studies or plenty of other things, and they've always kept up with their Cornell notes because it helped them remember things so well. All right, in my last slide here, um, I have this saying up in my room, stop wishing, start doing. 
people always say like, oh, I wish I did better in AP Bio. You can, you just have to do the work. When you don't understand something, come see me, ask questions. I do have card making sessions after school. We'll talk as a class and figure out what day is best to do that. Um, but we'll make little index cards so you'll have study cards. Um, and then just be in good contact with me if you have questions. Really looking forward to a great year with everybody.